Hi, my name is Grace and I'm a second year here at the Royal Dick School of Veterinary Studies and for my first vlog this year I thought I would talk to you a little bit about the work experience you're required to do before you come to vet school and EMS. So firstly I'm going to talk about the work experience that you're required to get before you come to vet school. So there's not a certain requirement of hours or days that you need to get before you come to vet school but basically the bigger the variety of work experience you get with different animals the better and also usually quality over quantity is better. Um, they would rather you see like two weeks here and there at different places rather than six weeks at kennels for example. Um, but you have to also make sure you don't do this to impact your grades. Your grades are the most important part as if you don't get the grades they may not even look at your personal statement and offer you an interview but if you just have less experience and your experience is good quality then they may still offer you an interview. So some recommended places to get your work experience at is at both large and small animal practices or mixed. This is where you can see a variety of different animals. Also at um, zoos, catteries, kennels, um, dairy, calving and lambing is also very handy to see. A placement at an abattoir for a day is also recommended to have. This shows the vet school that you can endure the tougher side of the course. Um, I personally did a day at the abattoir before coming to vet school and I found it very insightful and the vet that took me round was very willing and let me to ask any questions that I needed and it was a very good experience. So another form of work experience that's quite handy to have is online courses. So the, some of them are run by the Edinburgh University themselves and they show different areas of the veterinary career. I found the poultry one very insightful as I was not able to get to a poultry um, place before I went to the vet school. So it allowed me to see how these sort of farms ran. Um, also there's a virtual work experience one which is also very handy. Um, if you go onto the Royal School of Veterinary Studies website then there's links to them on the undergraduate program um, area. So now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about EMS. So EMS stands for Extramural Studies and this is work experience that you do while at vet school. So there is requirements for this type of experience. So the requirements are two weeks of cattle, two weeks of lambing, two weeks of horses, one week of cat and dogs, one week of small mammal, um, either one week of pigs or one week of poultry, ideally both, and then two weeks of free choice. So these weeks of work experience need to be done during your holidays. So in first and second year, you get two Christmas holidays, two Easter holidays, and one summer holiday to complete all this which is plenty of time and most people do end up doing more work experience than they're required. For each placement before you go, you have to fill out a risk assessment and submit it to the school. And then once the school approves that placement, then you're free to go. And then when you're there, you have a form to fill out with lots of questions about, for example, feed, what feed horses have, their accommodation, um, what exercise they were getting, and lots of other questions like that to make sure that you're actually picking up on the right information at those placements. So I forgot to mention this when I was filming the video, at the vet school there is an EMS database. This is where you can go on and search your postcode and see what placements are around in your area. So the placements on there usually have a star review and a written review from previous students who have attended that placement so you can see how valuable of a learning experience they are. So I thought I would just tell you a little bit about some of the placements that I have done while coming to vet school. So one that I really enjoyed is I did two weeks of lambing in Easter. Um, this was a very insightful experience. I didn't have any before I came to vet school. So the first week I was trained by the farmer on how to do lambing, how to make sure that the lamb was in the correct position, and the early signs of a lamb that, of a ewe that was struggling to lamb. He also taught me the right feed that they required um, and their bedding. And they had them all in different pens. So which pens had singles in them, which ones had triplets in them. And then the twins were usually outside as they didn't need as much help. The aim was that when a triplet lambed, you tried to get a single ewe that was lambing at the same time and a triplet would be adopted onto the single, so therefore both ewes would end up with twins instead of one with a triplet and one with a single. And that would make sure that the lamb had a full chance of being nourished and having the same chances and not as much competition between their siblings. So the second week I was given more independence and I was allowed to do adoptions myself, um, do lambings myself. If there was a head just sticking out and no feet, I was allowed to try catch it and do it myself, which was a very good experience. I jumped straight into the deep end and this allowed me to have loads of hands-on experience, which was lovely. Um, another experience that I really enjoyed was my horses experience. So I went to the World Horse Welfare Centre, which is a rescue and rehoming centre. So this was very insightful as the vet came out quite often to check on the horses. 
he was there every Tuesday and then sometimes we'd have to call him out for other reasons. And it also meant I got to see Farrier work as he also came out every Tuesday. This experience was also really good as I got to see some clinical things as well as lots of animal husbandry uh, of tacking up, cleaning, grooming, mucking out. Um, a third placement that I really enjoyed was the SSPCA which is the Scottish version of the RSPCA. Um, it had a huge variety of animals to work with from dogs, cats, birds, um, small mammals, reptiles and even wildlife which was really interesting to see. It also was a really good experience for like adapting as you go as you never knew what was going to come in. So you could be working with the rabbits mucking them up and then suddenly a stray cat comes in and you have to go deal with that. And it definitely improved my flexible skills and adaptation skills. So overall that is 12 weeks of work experience you have to do during your holidays. If you're an animal lover like me, then it's not so bad. I'm happy to spend 12 weeks with animals during my holidays. But some people that did come to a shop to them as they weren't aware that they had to do that. And um, it's also just to make you aware that like people in other courses won't have that same requirement. Not even medics do. So it's just to make sure that you're aware that you do have to sacrifice your holidays, but it will be worth it in the end. So I hope that's answered some of your questions around about work experience and EMS. If you do have any more, then please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them at the end of my next vlog. Hope you have a nice day. Bye!